Let me show you a quick method to graph an equation that will look something like this, 2x minus 3y equals 12. Now, if we don't know how to use this method, the cover-up method, or the x and y intercept method, we're probably going to do like this, 2x minus 3y, and we're going to isolate for y by moving the minus 12, blah, 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 dividing everything by 3, and we end up having 2 thirds x minus 4 is equal to y, and then we can plot it. But look at this, I'm going to show you the second method, and then a third method, the second is my preferred one. Basically, if we're looking for the x-intercept, we know that at the x-intercept, the y-value for this will be 0, because that's the height at the x-intercept. So if the y is 0, I'm going to cover this up, and I'm going to say 2x is equal to 12. If 2x is equal to 12, then I know that x is equal to 6. So I'm going to put a point here at 6. And on the y-intercept, I know that the x is going to be 0. So whatever the line crosses the y-axis, the x will be 0. And if the x is 0, I'm just going to cover this up, and it's minus 3y is equal to 12. So I know that minus that y has to be negative 4. So that negative 3 times negative 4 gives me 12. So negative 4 is going to be over here. Negative 4 is going to be over here. And now we've got two points, and we can graph that line. And that's the equation for, that's the graph for 2x minus 3y equal 12. Now, if this gives you a bit of a hard time, all you can do is just set it up. You say 2x is equal to 12, therefore divide both sides by 2, and you get that x is equal to 6. And here from this side, you say minus 3y is equal to 12. You will divide both sides by minus 3, and that gives you that y is equal to negative 4. And now you place your two points, and you graph your line, and you're done.